Hi, first kids. Boy, I hope that the Dallas Cowboys win the Super Bowl. Right, Miss Law? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Miss Trish, I, a lot of people hope that every year. Um, it's been a long time since it's has happened, but a lot of people hope that, and it's okay to hope for things like that. We do it every day. Like you could hope that you're going to win your soccer game on Saturday or that you're going to get an A on your test. There's lots of things we can hope for. That's not the only kind of hope. There is a different kind of hope. And in fact, it's a hope that we talk about every week in Sunday school when we light the candle of hope. We say that this lighted candle reminds us of hope that no matter how we're feeling, no matter what is going on in our world, we have hope because we have the light of Christ living within us. Yes. And right now we're focusing on hope here in church. And one of the things the adults are doing is they were given a journal of hope so that they could write down uh, their thoughts and feelings, just take a five minutes a day so that they can focus on hope and really develop that hope in God. Well, we thought, why do the grown-ups get all the fun? No way, man. We need something, too. So we found a journal just for you. And this is called 30 Thoughtful Days. Now, in this journal, you get to put your thoughts down. There's places for games. There's some coloring pages to do. And it's a time for you to focus on what you're grateful for because when we start thinking about what's really good in our lives and what God has provided for us that's when we really feel the hope so we have one of these books for all of you and you can find it at back in the back of church near the worship bags if you can't find one Come find me or Miss Trish during Sunday school hour, and we will be happy to give one to you. So remember, Miss Trish loves you. Miss Dana loves you. God loves you most of all. You are a blessing. Have a great week.